Hey, this is Ben Stewart from Passion City Church, and our text today is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, and it says this. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. It's an interesting passage because you don't think about approaching a throne with confidence. Like imagine if you were a peasant in a kingdom somewhere, uh, you wouldn't feel like I can walk up to the castle, much less the throne room. And yet imagine if you had a need that you could not solve. And someone said to you, I just go in the throne room and ask. So I can't go in there. Oh yeah, just go ask him. You go, no, a throne is where judgments are decreed. They're not where grace is given. I can't waltz in there. I'm not worthy. I bring nothing to bargain with. And yet in this text, we are called to come into that throne room with confidence. Now it's interesting, some of us may go, yeah, of course I would approach a throne room with confidence, why not? If you feel like you're crushing life, you feel bold. But if you feel like life is crushing you, man, sometimes that exposure is the last thing you need. And yet in this text, it says in our time of struggle and sin, we're meant to come into that throne room, even when we don't feel worthy. Well, then on what basis? Well, that little word then is the key. Let us then with confidence approach the throne of grace. And it points to what happened before, that Jesus, the Son of God, has passed through the heavens, that there's someone in that throne room who is worthy to stand there, Jesus Christ, the Son of that King. And he has become our high priest. That's the one who connects us to God. How did he do it? It's because he took on our sin and shame on this Good Friday. And he took on that barrier between us and God. He bore the shame of it and he buried it. And it says he's a sympathetic high priest. He knows our struggle with shame. And yet he did not succumb to it. And yet he removed every barrier, lowered the drawbridge, opened the doors and said, I have purchased the right for you to stand in this throne room with my blood on that cross. So come in here. Even though you are unworthy, you come because you belong to me and I am worthy. So if there's a voice in your mind when you're struggling with sin and shame that says, you can't pray, you can't talk to God, you're too dirty. The answer is, you're right. I have nothing to bargain with, but the son of the king bid me to come. And so I am moving with confidence into a throne room of grace because I'll find grace and mercy in our time of need. In Jesus' name, amen.